Well, Scousers don't get knocked out, and that has been the case for Patty Pimblett, at least to this point in his UFC career. Outstanding pedigree coming in, and he's got another big fight in front of him tonight, DC. And he's going to continue to get big fights, because when you have that thing, when you have that it factor about you, people want to tune in. That is what Patty Pimblett has in spades. But not only can he fight, not, I'm sorry, but not only can he draw people in, the guy can fight. He's a tremendous grappler, and he has confidence like not many guys that we've seen at such a young age in their career. And don't let the out-of-camp body composition fool you, because this man has a work ethic that rivals anybody in this division. Huge spot for Patty Pimblett tonight. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away from Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makhachev. Islam Makhachev ready to make a statement here tonight. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Patty the Baddy Pimbler. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makacha! Herb Dean, our referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice jab by Islam Akashi. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. And everything's landing with so much power. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar. Overhand right. Oh, as a head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. Oh, yeah. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 
Makashev's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Look at the clinch there is good by Pimbler. Take a step back. What a phenomenal shot. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, he's in trouble. Good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Making all these shots count. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Islam Akasha. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, right into Mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great set for the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now. Makashev's bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. Oh, guilty, guilty here. Oh, he's got the submission on the line. Working out of the half guard here. Good solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Makashev's got the full mount. Oh, nice. Now the damage is about to start. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Pimblet's in half guard. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Good jab there by the champion. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice defense. Three minutes to go. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Makashev ground and pound from half court. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Big ground and pound. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. 
Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Submission now. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Great defense by the fight. Two stop. rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, sit down here. Take a deep breath, bud. Breathe in through that nose, out through that mouth. Slow that heart rate down. All right, you ready? You good? So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Guillotine jump. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flew choke here. He's gonna go to sleep. It's over. Oh, somehow he's able to leverage a hit. Looks like he's gonna get out. Yeah, he did a really good job there of creating action. Getting his body off to one side as he's bridging, then back into him to release a little bit of that pressure on the Von Flew choke. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling jump. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. 90 seconds to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. He's out. What submission defense on the split? This one. You stand you up. You need to work. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, hammer fist here by Pimple. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, good defense, yes. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Hey, stop. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. doing great, dude. That was awesome, okay? You almost had that triangle. I need you to tighten All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round.
You ready to fight? Ready. ready. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you're... Back to the feet. Overhand lands flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Just missed with the leg kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Right now we're gonna work the takedown. Bokashev's in half guard. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makhachev. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Makhachev's back in half goal. It's a really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, feet on the hips here. Makashev going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Under two minutes to go. Look at that, going to the arm bar. He's got it isolated. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. You want to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Pimblett's in half goal. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Well, there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, big shots from the top. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, he's that guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant oh. position oh. instead. 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Leg kick. That one connected. True on the double leg. Makashev's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Side control now. Oh, good ground and pound here. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Makashev's going for a choke here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Very smart there. You never favor 
for submission over a dominant position. Under three minutes now to go round five. Makashev's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Two minutes now to go in the fight. A oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Makashev's in half guard now. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up. It doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Man, another one lands in oh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Islam Bokachan!